Hey everybody, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. My name's Tom Horton. I'm a UK professional musician and we're going to be learning part two of La Paloma. This comes from my uh, self-published piano book called Pianistic. In fact, there's three pianistic books and this is the the first one in the series that doesn't have a number on the front for some unknown reason and a blue line. The pieces in this book are kind of more for the elementary level and they go from about grade one um, upwards to about grade three. So we're learning, we've done a March of the Quavers, we've done Strolling, so we're doing the third uh, piece in the uh, in the book today which is called La Paloma and uh, this is one of those pieces you think oh why didn't I write this one but it was written <laughs> um, back in the 1800s by uh, a guy called Sebastian Eredi and it's become world famous as a popular Latin style number. Now if, if you haven't seen part one uh, there's a link in the description to take you to part one where we mostly focus on the first page and in this uh, lesson because it's two pages we, we thought we'd take a look at part two. So this is the book you need. Where do you get a copy of this? Well you get it from my website tomhorton.co.uk. Physical books are available for sale on there. We can post them anywhere in England, anywhere in Europe, anywhere around the world in fact. If you'd like to get yourself a digital copy please visit Sheet Music Plus. Dot com. So we have been trotting along the top line here on page two like this. And then we're going into box two. Now at the end here, there's a G in the bass with a number four in. And that, that number four um, means use finger four. And then there's a treble clef. And the treble clef then changes the left hand to treble notation. Now what this means is it means doesn't mean use your right hand, it means use your left hand because it's on the bottom stave, but we're going to read these notes in treble clef. Now we're going to play this next uh, second line look and everything goes together here. So we've just gone to a middle C on a staccato and then we're going to put our two on the E, three on the G and we're going to pair them up in little thirds look. Like that, okay, so it's da da da. There's that rhythm look. Two and follow the lead. Same on the other hand. And they're playing in thirds. Okay, so also we use more fingers than that to make it sound nicer. And one, two, and follow the lead. And then we're back into our rhythm look. So we're going to go E, C, G, G, C. Okay, so let's try those two bars again. So one. You know, one of the funnest things to do is to take someone else's music and do your own arrangement of it. The idea of this version that I came up with, my arrangement as it were, is that um, it's to teach you certain Latin American music style rhythms. And we had a look in the first part about, you know, that pattern that we did fish and chips and also the follow the leader da, da, da. it's a beautiful beautiful piece of music okay now the next two bars over here so we're on page two line two bars 26 and 27 and um, those go like this oh okay now there's some quite interesting bit of cross rhythm going on in there <clears throat> so we're going to play the C look and then we've got the E and the G together, two and, and then we've got the follow the lead, that follow the leader rhythm. Um, but we've got to hold the A down after we play the D and then we're going to go to the C. So you have to practice this bar quite carefully. So one, two and three and four. So see how the A was held, look. So one, cha, cha, follow the and then we're going up up to B and D and then we've got B and D here um. now the next line has a great big one over it in a bracket so that means that this line we're going to play this the first time through this section notice at the end here look there are repeat marks this is on line three so these marry up with the repeat marks on the second line. So what's going to happen is you're going to come through here, do dum da 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 dum dum da 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 dum then play all of that and then go back to there, play it again, and then this is the second time, so then we jump down 
to here where the box two is and then we play the final lines. Okay, so that's how that works. So we're gonna go from bar 24, one. So one, two and follow the lead and fish and chips. Da, 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 da. So straight down to C, look, one, cha, 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 da, da. Ooh, get it right, Tom. So the D goes with the A, hold the D, hold the A, goes straight down to middle C. And then G. Now, what now happens is this whole line is about the hands working together. So we're going to go up to here, thumb on C, five on E. You might find your hands feel a bit claustrophobic here, but just keep them apart. And everything is in thirds, look. So it's one. Okay, so one, two, and there's that rhythm again. Look, two and follow the, and then stretch down to C, thumb on A, and then we've got major sixes, or, or, or sixes, I should say, intervals of six notes. Lovely uh, sound. These are thirds. These are sixths, <laughs> whatever the word is. Follow the lead. Up. Notice the staccatos, look, right there. Okay, very staccato. -y. Da, 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 da. And then what we're doing is we're going to go all the way down to low G and B, thumb on the D, follow the leader, and then middle C, G, A, G, back to C, play that through slowly. Together, hold the A. One up. It's like a syncopated rhythm, isn't it? Da 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 da. Tap tap down. Stay there. C G A G. Now we'll do this as the second time now. Do do. Make sure those staccatos are nice and crisp. Now. We're now going to go to the fourth line, which is our final two lines, okay? And uh, this is where uh, we're going to be coming in on bar 32. Now, we're, we're in treble clef now, look. Still treble, so A and F, again, so thumb and little finger, look. Walking down, same rhythms, look. Da, 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 follow the, and then C and A, follow the lead, da. Again, really important to make sure those staccatos are nice and cleanly pronounced, okay? Very important that, okay? So one. Very smooth. Because then the last two have a lovely pronouncement to them. Down to G and B bass clef. Okay. Do follow. And then we come to the, our final line. Now the final line has got a, um, a large arrow that descends smaller. So this means we're diminuendoing. Um, um, we're, we're getting quiet as we go down. Okay. Now this little bit, it, it's got to get lovely staccato sounds here. Okay, that kind of style. So um, we're going to go with um, this same pattern, fish and chips, and all the way through. Look, so C, G, C, then bottom G, going through the middle note, and C, off the camera, bottom C. Okay, that's the left hand. Do, 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 G. Th these are octave Cs, so it's the first note, and the fifth in between every time. Do, 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 do. Thumb on C, stretch, pinky on the bottom C. The right hand goes one, two, and three, four, cha cha, rest, da dum, dum, one and two and three, four. But notice look, with the rest, it means that the quaver comes in on the second half of the second beat and therefore it will synchronize with the left hand. So here's the bottom line in slow motion.
Talk down. So those last two notes look our C, but what we want to do, we want to play a little bit louder and then slowly diminish like this. And so there we go. Very nice little arrangement. La Paloma. Beautiful Spanish Latin American style piece. And that is available as an arrangement as part of all my compositions in pianistic, which I hope you'll consider treating yourself to. And even if you don't read music, if you've learned the arrangement, treat yourself to a book. It just helps support me and supports the channel. So every song in that book and the other two books, there's gonna be over 30 videos of music lessons covering all of the pianistic books. So those of you who've already got pianistic, that one, pianistic one or pianistic two, We'll be showing you how to play all the songs in all the books. Thanks ever so much for watching, everybody. Hope I can count on your support. As a new composer, it's important that I get my music out there. So <laughs> hopefully you'll support me and treat yourself to a book. Hit subscribe. Thanks for watching Keyboard Skills Pro. My name's Tom Horden, and I will see you in another video very soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.